Hey everyone, I want to use this uh, video to kind of be an introduction on myself and uh, my training leading up to this point. Um, I've been training about three years now. Started uh, going to the gym in 2013 in the spring. Leading up to that, I hadn't really done any exercise after high school, just going to college and working. But one day I decided to try one of those kind of online challenges where you slowly build up to doing 100 push-ups. So I was working on that and after a couple weeks added in a challenge to do 100 sit-ups and I uh, kept getting hungrier and wanted to add in pull-ups so I got a pull-up bar trying to get up to 25 pull-ups and eventually I was like screw this doing this in my home I need to get to a gym and, and really build some strength so just something switched in my brain and I decided to start training for strength when I started I was 175 pounds I'm six feet high I am currently uh, hovering around 205 so I've gained about 30 pounds. One of the uh, lessons I've learned kind of early on when I started training is the importance of eating enough. For the first three or four months I was making really steady strength progress, was really happy, but then all of a sudden uh, I started plateauing, missing lifts, and I, I started losing weight. And it took me a little while to kind of evaluate what was going on, but then I came upon um, people talking about eating, you know, 3,500 or 4,000 calories a day, and so I decided to give that a, a try, and almost immediately I started making progress again. So, really, oh, seemed to um, always undervalue the importance of eating enough food and protein to keep continue making progress. After about uh, nine months of training I st started taking an interest in powerlifting as something to kind of give myself more purpose and direction in my training instead of just general strength. I wanted to have some more specific goals. At my first powerlifting competition uh, it didn't go so well. I ended up bombing out on squats attempting 365 pounds uh, but I wasn't quite reaching depth so I got uh, red lighted on my three attempts and that was kind of a blow to my ego but it was very educational so after that I adjusted my training to really making sure I bottomed out uh, squatting every time in training and uh, since then I've uh, been making slow, steady improvements, uh, continue eating, getting a little bit stronger month to month. Uh, up until last year, I kind of lost my dedication in eating enough. I stopped uh, tracking what I was eating in uh, my fitness pal, just kind of winging it, but as a result, my progress to a large extent stalled. Uh, my body weight stayed the same. Uh, but I was busy with stuff happening in my life. Uh, getting a girlfriend who I eventually uh, married this last November. And that, that was a uh, distraction, but uh, well worth it. So this year, uh, kind of as a New Year's resolution, I decided I need to really dedicate myself again to tracking everything I eat, make sure I get enough. And since I've been doing that, uh, going back to eating 3,500 to 4,000 a day, uh, my progress has uh, continued, kind of restarted. We week to week, I'm making a PR of some kind. And I'm, uh, you know, again, undervalue the importance of eating enough. Uh, and now, so here I am today, uh, working 531 as my main program, 
doing uh, big but boring so I'll do five uh, sets of ten of the main of whatever lift but I kind of do them on uh, opposite days so I don't t do too much volume in one day um, I'm also adding in joker sets so after my main heavy set then I'll experiment by adding on more weight and kind of testing my limits and then after that I do an AMRAP set which is as many reps as possible of a weight that's around 70 percent of my max and just week to week always trying to improve one of those numbers so I make progress of some kind always pushing my body close to its limit and so far since I've uh, been eating enough it's been going very well so here I am doing some warm-ups um, including some pause deadlifts uh, right off the ground I feel like that really helps uh, stimulate my muscles get the nerves fired up to holding a good posture aside from just doing normal dead lift reps so I'm just doing a few uh, 315 and then 315 again but I'm going to do a few pauses reps here Today in my program, I'm going to build up to a, uh, it's a three rep a day in my program. I only started doing these uh, pause deadlifts in my warm-ups uh, the last month or so, but since I decided to do them, I really felt better once I get up to my heavy set, so uh, I think it's definitely a, a good thing to include. Another few warm ups here of three sixty five. One thing I notice now that I'm videoing myself is I am looking up more than I would like to. I think that's just me trying to look at myself in the mirror, as uh, conceited as that might be. So, now that I can evaluate my form doing this video thing, I really need to focus on keeping my neck straight in line with my back. Doing uh, some more warm up here with the uh, 405. for 45 which is going to be my working set doing three reps Now a joker set, I added 20 pounds to uh, see if I can do it. So I'm going to try for another 3 reps of 465. I like to uh, visualize the lifts as I'm kind of psyching myself up. I don't really get angry or anything. Some people go to an angry spot in their mind. 
I kind of just pace back and forth, imagining the lift in my mind. So that is a uh, new PR on doing my three rep sets, 465. My last PR was 455, doing three reps. So Now here's one of the AMRAP sets. I backed off the weight to 385 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> 365 pounds and going to do as many reps as I can. I pretty much go until I'm one rep short of where I feel I might fail so when I feel like it's a grinding rep. is a new nine rep PR on that weight. So progress all around.